neglected to mention to us that it was so far down it was actually resting on the keel. I'll see you in the trunks immediately, miss. Will there be anything else? <laughs> oh, no. That is all. That is all, Mother, is uh, it? Cornelia, dear. Tip the man, Cornelia. He's in business. Father. Uh, thank you, miss. Which of the trunks do you all brought to the cabin first? Oh, all of them, of course. Cornelia, dear, not all of them for two weeks on shipboard? How would you know, Mother? My precious is in one trunk, and the ship will go with it or in another. And then all have the one... trunks, steward. <sighs> Ships ahoy. Yes, sir. Yes, miss. Right away. <laughs> oh, this don't sit there. You know our own boat leaves before Cornelia died. Oh, Mother, why did you have to humiliate me? Humiliate you? Yes, exactly. Here I am, going on an ocean voyage with that man. Your what? Who doesn't even know anything about me. And here you are, right off, giving him the impression that I'm a baby. Well, dear, you are only 19. Oh, Otis, do you think we should let her do it? I don't see any sense in it. Here we are. You and I are going to Paris, and Cornelia and Emily are going to Paris on two different boats. What for? There's room on our boat. It's not a canoe. <coughs> but, Father, that's the whole point. Emily and I are growing up, maturing. You might say we were becoming emancipated. Yes, you might. I wouldn't, but you might. I saved up my money, and Emily saved up hers, too. Well, they take money in our boat. They're taking mine. I know, but it's more expensive. I know. 
This may not be as stylish, but don't you see, it's all our own. Great Scott, you haven't bought the blasted thing, have you? Oh, Father, you know perfectly well what I mean. After all, I can't always be a leech sucking away at your vitals. Maud, does a child have to talk like that? <laughs> Dear, don't be so dramatic. I'll turn down your beds for you. You'll be lucky if the old tub makes it out of the harbor. I know what it all reminds me of. The tomb scene. Shall we stay in this palace of dim nights? Alack, what blood is it which stains the stony entrance of the sepulchre? Lady, come away from this nest of death, contingent, and unnatural sleep. Oh, it is we haven't time for Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Besides, Father, I can say extra for my lessons. As soon as I get to Paris, I'm going to be taking lessons from Monsieur de la Croix. Yeah, they'll take me. Dear, I don't know if I'm like consorting a strange Frenchman. Could you have taken lessons from an American actor? But, Mother, there is no one in the American theater. Simply no one. <coughs> oh, Father, I don't count you. Besides, I know all your tricks. Tricks? All ashore, let's go in ashore. Oh, I can't bear to leave you before Emily gets here, but we have our own boat to catch. Yes, but I just don't feel up to rowing across today. <laughs> oh, I can hardly wait to see Emily. I've missed her so desperately. Well, how long has it been since you've last seen her? Not since school books, Father. Ten days ago. Well, I hope you won't find her too much changed. Dear, I have something to discuss with you before we leave. I bet Emily's on board someplace and got lost in that labyrinth out there. Emily! Emily! Yes, Mother? Dear, whatever you do, please don't talk to strange men. And stand up. Keep your shoulders back so you'll look pretty. So strange men will talk to her. <laughs> and don't be trying out your acting on everyone, dear. Just when the occasion calls for it. Like the ship concert or something. Or better yet, save it for that one sure whatever his name is. I do hope he's a gentleman. Yes, Mother, he is. Oh, I have a present for you, dear. You have? Yes, and a very sensible one, too. Oh. See, dear, it's a safety pocket. A what? It's for your old razor blades. You <laughs> <laughs> put your valuables in it. I'll show you. Oh. But, Mother, isn't it sort of big? And no bigger than your purse. But the long strip. What's that for? Well, to go around your waist, of course. But, Mother, it's so heavy. I just don't wear half clothes. Well, fortunately, you're not being faced with the alternative. Oh, yes. Dear, nobody will ever see it. But, Mother, does it go on the outside? No, dear, it goes on the inside of your dress, like this. Oh, it's the only way. I've heard about all the things you have to buy Spanish and brigands. Though conditions have changed a bit since the Spanish man. I know it was done more than some of it. Hey, dear, no one will ever notice it. <laughs> be a very necessary precaution, and I want you to promise me you wear it at all times. Oh, no. No, mother, please don't make me promise. Otherwise, I won't have a moment's peace about you. Oh, mother, I'll never be able to face Emily. Good heavens, why not? With a bean bag bouncing around in my clothes, she'll think my parents are just plain primitive. I knew she was on board someplace and couldn't find her way. She was just heading towards the boiler room. Hello, everybody. Oh. Hello, Emily, darling. <laughs> <laughs> He's not too lost. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't lost. Oh, I guess just a little misdirected. But he was so handsome as he gave me directions. I guess I didn't pay attention. And then I took a wrong turn and... Hi, Cornelia. Oh, Mr. Skinner, you can set those right there and thank you ever so much. Well, here we have it. How's your mother? Oh, she's fine. She saw me to the train in Muncie. In fact, she gave me a book to give to you. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Don't bother, dear. Well, okay. I'll give it to you to read on the way back. 
Well, well, we have a few extra timetables we can glance at. Now, dear, I'm sure your mother gives you all the necessary instructions. Oh, yes. All of them. And Emily, dear, you remember everything I've told you. Yes, Mother, I will. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Mother. Goodbye, Emily. Oh, goodbye, Mrs. Skinner. And Mr. Skinner. Goodbye, girls. You know our hotel in Paris, don't you? Yes, Father. Oh, yes. I have it written down in three places. That's fine, then. Be sure to call us the minute you arrive. If it won't be too much of a strain on your emancipation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Do we dare? Stout heart. a very definite personality, or they won't get to know you at all. Oh, well, I see. Oh, oh, and Emily, I've got the most wonderful long dangling earrings. Look. Oh. And my new black dress. Oh, wait, did you see that? Oh. My new black dress is really almost slinky. Oh, it's <laughs> Then they tell type like Vita Vera. Vita Vera? Yes, you know, can't you picture it? A woman in black, a tinge of sadness and a smile, mysteriously alone in the moonlight. <laughs> and a whiff of exotic perfume as she passes. Have you got the perfume too? Yes, I bought a fourth of an ounce. I'm going to try it right here. Okay. Ship's purser, miss. Now, if possible, we don't want this to get around and disturb the passengers. As far as you're concerned, this is a routine passport checkup. I see. Oh, I won't tell. I won't say a word to anybody. Only all Pedro. 
several weeks now. <laughs> Was there a sinking several weeks ago? Oh, they keep it out of the papers, you see. I'm afraid it'll scare people about taking trips. <laughs> of course, people are foolish to be scared. Just because one out of every four boats hits an iceberg, doesn't mean that we will. Oh, no! No! There's no chance that we would hit an iceberg. Besides, why worry about it? What chance do we have to get out? Way down here. <laughs> well, not, not much, I don't suppose. But I'll tell you what. You should happen to hear a crunching sound any time after we get started. Just let us know. My friend and I, we're right around the corner. Ta-ta. <laughs> <laughs> Is that correct? That is correct, sir. 
Excellent. And I shall be able to perform a service for two very charming ladies. Oh, shall you? I hope you've not been too seriously inconvenienced by our loss. A loss? I'm very happy to be able to return these to you. <laughs> they are yours, aren't they? <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> yes, sir? What would you like to know? <laughs> May I ask what exactly are those little bags? <laughs> <laughs> Why, it's so funny that you should ask. So many people do so family. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, you see, it's rather long explanation. <laughs> Oh, really? Guess you see, my great, great uncle. That's my uncle on my mother's side of town. <gasps> he was an Indian fighter. You don't say. <laughs> well, sometimes they would just sit around for a whole year smoking pig pipes. <laughs> and when he was fighting Indian, he sometimes delivered milk to the other colonies. Not all of them don't understand, just call and things like that. Well, you see, <laughs> they're rather family heirlooms. <laughs> ah, what a curious history. Well, I mustn't keep you ladies, must I? I'll no doubt see you on deck later. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Oh, oh, and wasn't he handsome? Oh, he was at least an admiral. Oh, do you really think so? I suppose so. Oh, Cornelia, but this is terrible. Well, if he's an admiral, we should have at least given him a tip. Oh, <laughs> you don't tip admirals. Well, we don't know if he was an admiral. Oh, catch you. Emily, let me. Oh, Emily, what are you doing on the floor? Now think of that. Who would leave a pair of shoes right out in the middle of the corridor? Yeah, you gave me such a fright. I brought a bell. Emily, don't let us see you with a pair of new shoes. Oh, hide them! Hide them! Oh, no! Oh, oh poor oh, 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 that's too bad. Well, 
It's been quite lippy, ripping of you. Huh? Yes, poor Highway. And we do come again. That overboard! That overboard! Who's that? Say! <laughs> Say, Mon Everboard! Someone's gone over the side! Oh, good heavens! Emily! Emily? Oh, Emily! <laughs> She's my roommate, and she went up on deck, and she doesn't know how to swim very well. They're shouting man overboard, dear. Oh, hurry up, dear. They always say that. That's me, I would say. Oh, oh, Lily Myers, you've got to see. Miss ah! Skinner, please. I must request that all passengers remain in their cabins during the current emergency. Oh, could you tell me, please, who is on overboard? I'm sorry, we're not allowed to divulge that information until they recover the body. Oh, look, <laughs> A horn will be sounded at this time as passengers are permitted to return to the deck. Stand by. Oh, do carry on, dear. It's certainly not Emily. But look, I do hope now. Seriously, drown when they go over, you know. <laughs> what a beastly shame that would be. Yes. Well, come on. Buck up, girl. We'd best slip back to our cabin now. Lucky thing we're here to console her, what? Oh, give us a call if you need us, dear. Now, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily. Emily. Why weren't you taking swimming lessons instead of dancing? Oh. oh. And all that seaweed! <laughs> Emily! Shh! Quiet! Emily, you gave me such a fright when I heard all the shouting and screaming. I thought it was you! But how did you know? How did I know what? That it was me! <laughs> that it was you? Yes! But Emily, you couldn't have fallen overboard! You're not even wet! Oh no, Cornelia! It was much worse than that! Yes? I killed a man! Oh! oh! What man? A man that fell overboard! Emily, you didn't push him! No! No! You see, I was up on deck, and all of a sudden, someone yelled man overboard, and there was a lot of commotion. So I ran to the railing like everybody else, and I could see him down in that dark water, splashing and kicking. Oh, he looked so pathetic. And he was kicking and clawing at the water. And then, I remember what they told us in our life saving class. Throw a buoyant object to the man who's drowning. But Courtney, I couldn't find a buoyant object. All I could find was a dead chair. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you didn't throw the dead chair. I did, Cornelia. And it hit him. Right on the <laughs> 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 it never had this good in. I know. How did you know it hit him? Just at that moment, they turned on the floodlight, and all you could see was a dead chair wobbling around in the water. <laughs> and no man! Oh, oh, good Lord! <laughs> Emily, did anyone see you throw the deck chair at all? Thank you. I don't know! Oh, well then, Emily, if no one saw you, then no one will never know. We keep you under cover. Oh, no, no. I couldn't live with my conscience. It would haunt me all my days. Cornelia, you must go tell the captain. No, Emily, I couldn't. I'd be an informer. Oh, no, no. Please go. My knees are shaking so bad. I can hardly stand. All right, Emma. If you really want me to. Yes. Cornelia, I've been thank you too for you for all my life. Mercy! How long are you going to let me live? Oh, Emma, you don't say things like that. Tell me an inquest. Do you think I have a hair on the ship? All that makes I can match a friend. Oh, I couldn't possibly testify in French! Emily, what's that? The ship? What about them? Oh, oh, they're here! Oh! Oh, no! The dead man! 
But how could they be? Well, I don't know. But he wasn't wearing any shoes. Well, then I'll hide them. Oh, no, 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 no. You needn't do that. Please go. Go tell the captain. All right, Emily. I'll bring the captain right down. Thank you, Cornelia. <laughs> Captain, Captain, I'm ready to go. Oh, just please, keep it out of paper so my mother won't find out. <laughs> just let me slip away, quietly. Come in, I'm not armed. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Oh. You didn't have to see something of a pair of shoes, did you? Oh, my shoes! You did swell. You see, they're my friends. Oh. My roommate. And now he's dead, and you're never going to forgive me. Dead? Oh, no, that's his expression. He's not really dead. Oh, I think they haven't told you yet. Was he as young as you? Oh, younger, but old enough to wear shoes. <laughs> I'd give them to you, honest I would, but the captain will need them as evidence. Evidence? Now look, see here, dear. Let's just sit down and talk this whole thing out. I imagine it's been difficult for you right from the start, hasn't it? Oh, you don't get the point at all. How clear of you to put it that way. You certainly have a knack for hitting things right on the head. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. We'll just count to ten and start right back at the beginning, okay? Okay, now I came in to get my friend's shoes, right? I know. Oh, yes, we are getting somewhere. Now, maybe I should explain the only reason he wants these particular pair of shoes is because he has a kind of sentimental attachment for them. So the only pair he's got. Oh, my God, I didn't bear it in the box, <laughs> That does it. I've done my best. For now, I'm friendly able to get his own shoes. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye. And don't think it hasn't been charming. Pardon me. Another drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think I won't even need it now. Where do you want this? <laughs> I won't even need it. You won't? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can leave it here. I want to have my treasures about me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, it is a beastly crossing, isn't it? Oh, you're the other one. The one who went overboard? Oh, yes, but I didn't go overboard. You see, dear, I told that girl she had not gone overboard. Oh, who are you? A name of yours, dear. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, give me a cup. Yes, 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 dear. Oh. So you're the young lady who decked your overboard? Yes, sir. I did it. You will be gentle with her, won't you? Whatever made you think of doing a thing like that? Of course I took. It's life saving. Another drunk! <laughs> <laughs> sir! What the devil do you mean bringing all these trunks in here? They asked for them, sir. They asked for them. Well, that still doesn't give you any reason. Now, hold it, everybody. Who's got my... <laughs> Right when they called on you? Well, I always did. I broke on the night before the boat. 
But of course, I never dreamt to call on me. Lady Macbeth. And you did Lady Macbeth, just like that. That was the sleepwalking scene. Oh, I see. Dick said you were walking that way because the boat was rocking. Well, what did he mean by that? Oh, oh, I'm sure he thought you, he was very impressed. And I'm, I think the family just thought you simply saved his concert. Oh, and how did you like the lady singer tonight? You mean the fat little lady who sang about when she was a lad before a fair turned gray? <laughs> oh. Cornelia? Yes, Leo? Say, listen. For Thanksgiving, could you come up to the prom at Harvard? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, why, that is a fine spring that we did. I'll have to look it up in my book. Gee, it'd be wonderful if you could. Gee. I never knew medical students had prom. <coughs> Why not? Oh, what else, Mom? So frivolous. I just thought you spent all your time poking at dead bodies. I'm Iron Lord. What do you mean? Post-mortem? Yes, things like that. But don't tell them about them. It's exciting to be a doctor, Leo. <coughs> well, I suppose it is, when you're a doctor. But being a medical student is just a lot of hard, tough work. But aren't you fascinated? Well, the work in the clinic is interesting enough. Although we medical students just get the routine cases. You know, colds and broken arms, things like that. Although one time, Dick and I did get one great case of cirrhosis of the liver. They took it away from us. But boy, while we had it, it was a beauty. You see, this fellow came Oh, up. it does sound interesting. That's it. Cornelia. Yes, I'd like to ask you something. It's very important to me. Yes? You don't have to say yes right away if you don't want to. You can take as long as you want to think about it. But I don't need time to think. Okay. You see, I'm the president of our fraternity at Harvard. Yes? And we have a mascot. It's a skeleton. And every year, it gets christened all over again. And the president of the fraternity gets to name it. Yes? Well, could I? Could you what? Name it Cornelia after you. Cornelia! Get your life preserver! Oh, for heaven's sake, Emily, why? We're hosting the Starboard! Hosting the Starboard? What does that mean? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well, Emily, what does it mean? Well, I don't know. It's just I was up on deck and I heard somebody shout from to the first mate. And from the way he said it, you could tell he meant something serious. Emily, child, put that thing away. <laughs> oh, but we're in a fog. It came up suddenly. You can't see your hand in front of the prow. And they're blowing horns. I told you, Emily, they always blow those horns in a fog. Oh, yes, keep the other ships a safe distance away. Yes, but the boat keeps bounding up and down and up and down. Oh, no, Emily, we're not going to sink now. The trip is almost over. We dock tomorrow. Oh, but don't you see? That would be the worst part. To drown inside of dry land. <laughs> well, it's okay for you to be brave. You're a man. Well, look at me. I'm not. Well, you can be nonchalant to face danger if you want to, Cornelia. But I'm going to go find our lifeboat. Oh, Emily, it won't do you any good in the dark. You won't be able to find anything. And even if you do, what good will that do you? I'll find it. There's a sign right out in the corridor that says, Our lifeboat is number six on the port side. Emily, child, we're not going to run and hook it up in those lifeboats. Well, nobody has to come with me. I can work alone. But Cornelia Skinner, when the warning comes, and they're saying all those things about women and children first, <laughs> you'll be glad to know that someone knows where our lifeboat is. <laughs> Whither she goes, I go also. <laughs> Boy, that Emily, she sure is a card, isn't she? She's a dear child. <laughs> I'm very fond of her. Our last night out. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Well, it's been a lot of fun, but now it's nearly over. Yes, but it was something that's snapped. It could never be recaptured. Oh, we'll see each other again. 
in Paris. Yes, but you're going to England first. It all seems so far away. Yes, we will be pretty busy in the morning. I guess this is goodbye for now. Yes, Leo. I suppose it is. Goodbye, Leo. Goodbye, Cornelia. <laughs>
played post office twice. <laughs> but I can't say that I was in goals. <laughs> now, Emily, your idea of the mill is someone who builds and brings food to the mill. <laughs> You are a child, Emily. After all, this thing is bigger than me. Bigger than him. Bigger than the both of us. I don't see how I still live. It's just one week. Ill. 
works. You don't mean she got five. Well, she wondered if maybe Julia ought to take a mental test. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it seems as though they won't let you into the country unless you have the mentality of a seven-year-old. <laughs> but I told them, Cornelia, you must have the mentality of a seven-year-old. She's been to college two years. Well? Well, she said she'd get to be all right then. You mean? You mean we pass? We pass! It's not good! <laughs> well, don't you sit there. We're a duck. That's right. We better get her up there. Come on, Jenny. Up we go. She's gone. She's fainted. Oh, no! Danger? What danger? Well, if it is that you're in this color, 
and the letter. It starts clicking. Then you must quickly put in another 25 something or it will explode. What will explode? It will really explode. About this we're not positive, but in the past two months, two buses have exploded. And we conclude that this is the reason. People just do not put the something in quick enough. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, you're both very welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, well, how do you like that? Sounds like a volcano. It had to be said too late every spring. Oh, what it rust all over the island. Croix. De la croix. 
Fifteen years. <laughs> what? You're ringing him? Oh, Cordelia, come on, I'm getting him. Oh, I can't. Tell him I'm paralyzed or something. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm sick. Oh, should I have fall? Uh, I'm almost over pain. Cordelia, he doesn't even know who you are. How could I tell him you're sick? Oh, you've got to talk to him. All right. Uh, hello? No. This isn't a joke. This is Cornelia Otis Skinner. I'm an American. No, I'm not calling all the way from America. I'm right here in Paris. Are we in the lead? What? Oh, oh what is it that I wish? Oh, what? It is that I wish Monsieur Le Croix. Will you teach me acting? Huh? Please? <laughs> oh. I see. You're awfully busy. But, Monsieur Le Croix, you don't understand. I came all the way from America and I read it all about you in the magazines. And I, and I had the measles. And, oh, I told my father all about you. Yes, my father. Cornelia Otis Skinner. Yes, he's my father. Oh, oh you will? Oh, when? Fifteen minutes? Oh, yes, yes. You can expect me in fifteen minutes at the Hotel San Pupilli, 16 Rue de la... Oh, you know? You live right near here? Oh. Oh, all right. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh. Well, oh. he wants to inspect me. <laughs> well, I don't suppose that you felt you could ask him to take me this first time. Oh, Emily, you're not going to be an actress. You're going to be a dancer. Well, I just thought you might. Oh. He'll be here any minute now. Oh, where are we close? Oh, everything's crushed. Oh, no, no. He didn't sound so anxious at first. Oh, Emily, I know. <coughs> you see, he just had to listen to my voice for a few minutes. <laughs> then he realized. Isn't it magic? Oh, isn't it? Oh, Emily, dear, do you mind if I teach my back voice? Oh, no, go right ahead. I have to brush up on my colloquial French. Your what? Well, see, everywhere I saw a French word, I wrote it down. So I can translate it later. Make it more authentic. Get it right from the native. Ne crochet pas pas tel. What is it from her? It's not... Strange. Quality of mercy is not strange. Crochet, crochet. It looks at a gentle rain from heaven. Look at the gentle rain from heaven. Cornelia, you know what that means? It means do not spit on the floor. <laughs> oh. Maybe I not translate the rest. It's like that. It's like that. And it's like that. Oh, hello, dear. I've run out of lunch in pieces. Could you give me one? Oh, sure. Could you give me some of my hands? No. There aren't any, Cornelia. Well, look at my suitcase for some place. Oh, I must have one. Oh, you do? 
Yes, I think I'm becoming more interested in men than I am in culture. Oh, ha, now, brown cow. The rain in space stays mainly on the plane. Oh, 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 but is this the room of Mademoiselle Skinner? Why, yes, that's her. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I was just exercising. The daughter, you know. Ah, then this is Miss Skinner, the daughter of Audrey Skinner, the so famous American actor. I am right, yes? Oh, yes. That is your father. Oh, he is here too? Oh. I may meet him? Oh, no. He's traveling with mother on the hall. But uh, he will be coming here today? Oh, no. They're both in the countryside. Oh, I see. Well, but we'll all meet eventually. <laughs> um, I'm Emily Kimbrough. Mm. I dance. Yes, I would like very much to meet your father. Perhaps he could uh, arrange an American tour for me, yes? Surely many persons there would be happy to see me play. Oh, yes! I showed your picture to many girls. They are all impressed. Oh, that is good. Americans have taste, no? Now, what should you look for? I'm not sure. How do you go about giving lessons? So if you I would see. just help well, me. First of all, I will have to determine whether or not it is necessary to laugh. Oh, well she does. <laughs> Emily. Perhaps you could uh, do a scene for me, yes? That would give me some idea. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, I have a great many prepared. We will take them one at a time. Well, let me see. They are in. Do not stand so close. Oh. Sit back, please. All right. That is fine. Very well, you may begin. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I'm in fear, being in night. All oh, this is but a dream. <laughs> Too glad and sweet to be substantial. Oh, uh, may I please to use the telephone? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Go right ahead. Oh, don't the wheat got us easy to be Oh, do not wait. Please continue. Oh, bid me late. <laughs> Brothers in America. From up the battlements of yonder tower, or walk in silly ways, or bid me look where serpents are, or chain me with roaring bells. Yes, Too much voice, it is bad for the throat. <laughs> Charles, first, is a given cost for Marie Bell? Where more? Elle propose de la beat. Oh, do not wait, please continue. Elle me chante de tel. Mais c'est impossible! Great God, I'd rather be a pain. Second in a creed at one. So might I be sitting unpleasantly. How could you make me less forlorn? How could a glorious rising from the sea? Or hear a frightened love is ringing on. Miss Kinnear, try something with more variety. A change of mood. Oh, certainly. Miss Cross. It is already my selection and only. You should not be so late asleep in the serving chapel. Who are you? I am the man who washes the window. Why do you not ring for breakfast? But of course, you cannot reach the bell. Oh, thank you. It was nothing. But you won't even get breakfast now. You had better ask for lunch. Lunch? Hmm? Well, what time is it? Eleven o'clock on my father's watch. Eleven o'clock? <laughs> oh no! Cornelia, we have overslept! This is the day that the boys are coming! Oh, I forgot to tell Therese the time to wake us up! Oh, if I hadn't been that nice man over there! Man? What man? 
Bonjour, mademoiselle. I am the man who wakes up late sleepers. I also clean windows. Oh, what the hell is this happening? <laughs> Oh, you see the bathroom now, Cornelia. Ellen! Oh. Look at me! Oh, stop making that funny face. I wouldn't make this face on purpose. Well, how would I know? <laughs> oh, it does look weird. What is it? A new form of measles? Oh, no, Emily, I feel fine. <gasps> You look like one of you bangies in the National Geographic. <laughs> oh, Cornelia, stop that. You're going to make something worse. Oh, Cornelia, I quit itching. Itching? What's that? Hmm. Oh, Emily, I know what it is. What? I mean... Open up, open up. Emily, it's mother. Oh, it's father. 
see you dripping with disrespect, you won't. I'm a kid, I've got no real respect, son. Oh, no, I'm a delicate. Well, why do I have to hide? I'm a Republican. <laughs> Otis, come in here, Father. Well, well, like a drag. Yes, she comes with any drag. It'll only be for a minute. Well, at least give me my sandwiches. Oh, I'll give it to you in a minute, Mr. Skinner. Okay, are we ready? Yes, dear, let them in. Okay. Well, well finally. Oh, won't you come in? <laughs> oh, this is Cornelia's mother, Mrs. Skinner. How do you do, Mrs. Skinner? Hello. Dick Winter and Leo McAvoy. <laughs> oh, we're the boys from Dogwood, where they have all the nice winter carnivals. Uh, yes. Well, uh, no. Uh, uh, we're from Harvard. We're medical students. Oh, your mothers must be so proud to have medical men in the family. You get all the inside info on the science field, don't you? Yes, yes, we do have to keep up. I say, Cornelia, guess who we bumped you into London? Who? Oh, you know, your friends from the ship. Um... You know, frankly, and ripping. Oh, really? Well, how are they? Harriet was just fine, but Winifred was just overcoming a case of the measles. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. You know, we just couldn't figure out where she caught them. <laughs> How is Cornelia now, Skinner? Uh, well, Leah, uh, she's so dead up. Oh, oh, what? Oh, don't sit on that bed. What? I understand it was not well known by Cardinal Richelieu. <laughs> yes. Um, the man is very fussy about who sits on it. Yeah, okay. Uh, what have you been using all the disinfectant for? Uh, disinfectant? I don't smell anything. Do you, Evelyn? Oh, no. No, just the honeysuckle. Honeysuckle? Oh, I love this time of year. Don't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, we have a strange old man. Oh, pissed y'all. Oh, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, besides, if someone was hurt, I'd better take a look. Oh, no, that's quite all right. We have medical kits around here for emergencies. What, my brothers, please not throw things out of the window? <laughs> I hope this is my fortune. <laughs> and two uncles of my wife. <laughs> if I'm injured, they will suffer. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, we'll make it up to you. <laughs> 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 well, what were you so sorry about? Oh, Frenchmen, you have to humor them, you know. <laughs> if I'm not fed soon, I shall be all. You got to be locked in there. Oh, no. Neighbors, it sounded like it was coming from right in there. No, these old hotels have such smart, thin partitions. Oh, they're so thin. Speaking of food, I'm starving. Hey, Cornelia, be ready. Well, I'm starving. Hey, what do you know? Sandwiches. Oh, my. What do we have with you, Mrs. Skinner? Oh, well, Nothing to spoil our appetites. Well, boy, I actually don't eat them. Oh, no. Well, why not? Well, see, they're not fresh. <laughs> Is that what you're felt fresh? Uh, oh, I think it's the mayonnaise. Yes, must be the mayonnaise. Rancid mayonnaise. You know, I hate rancid mayonnaise. Oh, don't you? <laughs> well, if we can't have those, let's get going. Where's Cornelia anyway? Oh, she should be. Cornelia! Cornelia! Oh, oh, oh. Hello! A thousand hold on for not coming sooner. About the bed. What a tragedy. What oh. about the bed? <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's nothing. It's perfectly all right. <laughs> no, it's not perfectly all right. To think that such a thing would happen in my house. I am humiliated. Oh, nonsense, my dear. There's nothing to worry about. It was nothing. Honest. The girls didn't mind the ticket. Nothing, my dear. Oh, why? It was a pleasure. <laughs> ah, it's American. A pleasure. Oh, Cornelia! Yes, I'm coming. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> so sorry to keep you waiting so long. Well, hello, Cornelia. How are you doing? You're looking very well today. 
Oh, thing. yes. Notice the fan, isn't it? Pretty. Oh, may I see? Oh, the view is much better after this. Oh, yes, yes. In fact, if you get too close, it's almost ugly. <laughs> well, are we finally ready? Yes, let's be on already right now. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Mrs. Skinner. Oh, yes, boy. Yes, same here. Hope we can go out together sometime. Yes, we must. Is it legal for Arnold the leopard to step forth now? <laughs> yes, dear, they've gone. Oh, such nice boys. They're going to be doctors. I heard what Emily said about the rant and mania. I don't think she was kidding. <laughs> I'm so worried about Cornelia, though. With that fan in front of her face, she's kind of a bend in something. <laughs> oh, man, what are you doing? <laughs> that bed! That bed! I sat on it! It's man heating! It's very interesting! Where is the disinfectant? <laughs> And then he had a memorial ode to opening up a new museum. And the last of that, we just asked him not to visit him from province. Oh, Emily, you don't believe it. Oh, I do believe it, Cornelia. But in an hour we get on the train to go back to La Havre, and from there we get on the coast to go back home. Oh, what good is a lesson going to do you now? What good do? Why, it just might change my whole life. <gasps> he might even invite me to come back again. He might even become my mentor. What's a mentor? Oh, never mind. Emily, why are you writing all those postcards now? I know. Isn't that terrible of me? The way I leave everything for the last minute. Well, Emily will be home before they arrive. Well, I know. But if people were get a postcard dated in Paris or France, well, they wouldn't believe a word I tell them. Emily, I wonder if I should call Monsieur de la Croix. Father will be here any minute now, and I won't be able to call them. Well, I don't know. A woman seems to lose a lot of her femininity. And all of her queenliness, which she has to call a man. What? I read that in Du Maurier. I don't care, Emily. I'm going to call him right now. Cornelia, what did you write to Janice King about the Louvre? What? I said that it was a treasure trove of beauty. Why? Well, because I don't want to write the same thing. Oh, of course. Emily, this is the lowest ever in my life. And there you sit, writing postcards. I'm going to call him right now. What? I thought you were concerned about my queen. Oh, of course, Cornelia. Audion, just catch a piece of own, s'il vous plaît. And this was to our maid. She too had bed bugs. <laughs> May I please speak to Monsieur de la Croix? Cornelia? Do you think I should tell her about yours? I know she'd be interested. <laughs> Emily, on a postcard. Oh, all right. I think I'll tell her about Napoleon's tomb instead. Uh, hello? Monsieur de la Croix? This is Cornelia Otis Skinner. Yes, Cornelia. Uh, are you coming to give me my lesson today? Oh. 
We have an extra performance in half an hour. Why oh, I think. But you don't understand. I'm going to be leaving today. My father's going to be picking me up any minute now and then. Yes, my father. He's coming to pick me up any minute now and... Oh! You will come? Yes. Yes, you can expect me. Yes, yes, thank you. goodbye to our little room. What? Yes. I saw Norma Talbot do it in a movie once. And it was terribly tender. Oh. Mm. Well, I don't remember. Except that she and the king of Eddie Mountain in their love yet. And then, when their four short days were over. Oh, and Emily, when you say goodbye to me, don't drop it. Open up in there. I have your ball. Father! Oh, hello! Hello, Dad! Oh, Father, all the packages. What are this big one? That is the left wing of the Chateau of Frontenac. Nonsense, Otis. Oh, it's just a board, dear. A board? We well, ripped it out of its molding. Oh, yeah? No, dear. We just take it off to the ground by the terrace where it was lying. I'm going to make a coffee tray out of it. It'll be so lovely and so historic. Well, I can hardly believe my eyes, but I see you're all packed. So, let's away. Homeward. Oh, Father. You don't mean now, this very minute. I most certainly do mean now, this very minute. But, Father, I can't go. Now, listen here, girl, what's this nonsense? Father, I'm perfectly serious. Oh, she is, Mr. Skinner. You see, Marjorie de Lacroix is <coughs> coming any minute now. Who? That's her actor, dear. Her actor? Yes, um, the one with the color in front there. And he'll be here any minute now, Father. Now, listen here, girl. I hate to be the one to discourage your art form, but we are not going to miss that train. Oh, oh that's all right, Father. He's here right now. Mademoiselle? Oh, oh. Mademoiselle? <laughs> 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 This is my mother. Madame. And this is my father. Ah, for the Skinner is not, but I am enchanted to make your acquaintance. Thank you, thank you. Now my daughter here would... To speak with you is an opportunity I have long awaited. Yes, yes. Sorry we haven't had more time. We'll get the bags checked, Cornelia. But, Monsieur Skinner, I was hoping perhaps you could arrange an American tour for me, yes? Monsieur, you seem to be under some misapprehension. I am an actor, not a booking agent. Good day. Come on, Maud. But this girl. Oh, Monsieur de la do you want me to breathe first? Oh, recite. What? I said, do you want me to recite? Oh, yes. Or do you want yes, Miss Skinner. One moment. One moment. Miss Skinner, there yes? is something I feel I must tell you. Well? <coughs> the fact of the matter is, if we are not to mince words, to teach you acting would be a waste of my time. What? In you I find nothing with which to work. You mean? I mean, mademoiselle, that you have no talents. No talents? Bonjour, you, mademoiselle. Oh, no. You! You get back here! You get out of here! I never want to see your face out there again! <laughs> 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 
can't even speak good English. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's all over now. I must to. Oh no! Don't cry, Cornelia. Don't cry. It's all right for you to say. You have your life on fire. First, you'll be a dancer. Baby. And then someday, you'll get married. Oh no, Cornelia. But I want your dad to get out of the gym. And. Oh, but Emily, you're just the type they will have. Everybody will be after you. Oh, no. <laughs> I doubt if I'll ever get married. Why, I doubt if anybody will ever ask me. <laughs> oh, Cornelia. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, no, she's gone. <laughs> oh, dear, I have a surprise for you. Guess who we saw downstairs? Leo and Dick, and they've come to see you all. Yes, we came to see if you need any help. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Cornelia, dear, aren't you glad to see the boy? <laughs> dear, what's wrong? Oh, what's that little jeu de la croix? <laughs> what did he say? downstairs closet. Oh, I haven't had any time at all. Oh, that's what I always say. Nothing gives me a better feeling of hanging out of fresh snowy wash. And the only exciting thing I'll ever do will be to sit down on the front porch 
watching the men pitch horseshoes. Oh, that away, George. Don't let them get all the ringers. I want to go with you to the county tournament. Oh. That's how it'll be. <laughs> and only two. <laughs> all number two. To be set up on that old darn front porch. I'll sit there rocking and rocking. Looking over my thrilling life together. Yes, George. Yes, George. It's been. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Magnifique. <laughs> Gee, Cornelia, that was better than Lady Macbeth. No, it was. Why? Showing yourself, Cornelia. Why, yes. When we get back to Bridmark, you'll have to do that for the girl. And, and Cornelia, when you come up at Thanksgiving, could you do that for our fraternity? <laughs> do you think that you do something like that in the theater? Oh, no, Emily. <laughs> well, yes, dear. I've seen them done before. What do they call notice? Monologue. That's it. Monologue. Oh, oh, Mother, I could have never act all by myself. The people I saw do it got paid for it. Nobody never paid to see me. Well, I want Cornelia. Well, I know, Emily, but you're... No, Cornelia, everything. what you just did was quite good. Really? I think about it. Well, gee... Glad I worked on my diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'll fix your face so we can get out of here, oh, right. we'll miss that train. You've got everything packed now, haven't you, dear? Oh, yes. I just have to lock them up. We'll get them for you. Fine, fine, boys. We'll round up the taxi. Now, you've got my board. Oh, yes. I wish we went all the way home with you, instead of just to the boat. Yes, Cornelia, and remember, you said you'd write. If you write first. Oh, I will. Uh, which bag is yours, so I can carry it? I still have one in the bag. Let me go get one. Well, that's Cornelia's bag, and this one's mine. Oh, just a minute. Here. Well, why don't you two go ahead and get the impression that we're coming? Child, draw closer. Huh? I'm going to do this just because I won't want you to have any misconceptions about my true nature. Okay. I won't want you to think I was backwards.